helps us to have a few people gathered together as we go around the ship. Um, thank you very much for coming. My name is um, Oliver. I've worked for three pieces in the ship. I'm based in London. My name is Amelia. I'm the second officer. I'm part of the ship. And we're, we're going to be guiding you around the, around the ship today. Just ask you really to take care as you move around because we've got some narrow uh, gangways and steep steps. So just make sure you're on your What we're going to do first of all is we'll the the ship along to the bow and then we'll, we'll start to tell you a little bit about what the ship and what we're doing here. So follow us. So, hi, welcome everybody. Uh, thank you again for coming. Um, welcome on board the Rainbow Warrior. You've seen the Rainbow Warrior 2. Rainbow Warrior 3. You'll see this is an extremely shiny ship. It's actually brand new. In fact, um, we'll have its first birthday tomorrow. We'll be in service for one year tomorrow. Um, but it, it is brand new. And we'll tell you a little bit about that. This is the first purpose built ship. Thank you. 
later, will this still work like this? There's thousands of fishing vessels, there's no way we could really stop them with three, three vessels. Yeah, with three vessels, you can stop three fishing vessels. <laughs> All the others can't go. But this way of fighting has been like very effective. And as soon as Greenpeace started like, uh, doing his missions, uh, a tribe of uh, Native Americans of Indians just uh, named the first ship to an old legend. Their legend said that when the, when the planet was about was sick and about to die, people from all races, people from all over the world speaking different languages would get together and fight to save the planet. And they would be known as the warriors of the rainbow. So, uh, due to the connection from the old Greek bishops to this tribe, the, the first ship uh, that Greek is had by his own was named after that legend, the Rainbow Warrior. The first one was bombed by the French army in the French Secret Service in uh, New Zealand, in Auckland. And the second one has been sailing for 25 years and was retired last year. Now it's a hospital ship in Bangladesh. Yeah, so it's going up the river and along the coast to give hospital services, medical services to people who never in their life will see a proper doctor or a dentist. Don't imagine they're doing big operations because there's lots of people who don't have the basics. Basic medicines, basic medicines, where the warrior is, he doesn't belong to women anymore. And this is the third rainbow for warrior. Yeah, and this is uh, Total Rimpy ship designed for campaigning, designed for sailing with the wind, burning very little amounts of fuel, doing a lot of work, and polluting very, very, very little. It's nothing like no pollution. Yeah. Do anything in your life, there is some pollution. You just can't work to make it manageable. Make the thing not to be worse every time. Yeah, so we do a lot of work, but we mostly go with the sail. We have two masts. That 55 meters over the water, really, really high. You go up there, it's really, the ship is really, really small from there. And we have uh, <coughs> five sails, and all together, they are as big as a football. Yeah, it's really, really big. The power the sails can give to us is more or less the same as the engine, which is 2,000 horsepower. We really would have strong wind. We go as fast as we go with an engine which is 2,000 horsepower. Yeah. Then we have two small boats. Or well, maybe you're familiar with this, Maybe you've seen our boats. They go in confronting bigger vessels or just holding banners or going to places where the big ship cannot go. So we have two boats. A third one which is locked inside because we are not using it now. And then we have a helicopter. You see it later on. There. Let's go into the original show. It was which would be a lot lower on the way to Maldives, but uh, we, we have our strategies to minimize the risk, but there's not going to be guns on board. We all accept willingly the risk because we work for business. That's what it is. Everything has a risk. Okay, thank you. Several times. One was a direct attack over them. The other one was the hijacking of a ship within binocular distance, the MDCUS. I was in the war, some of the people who are here were on board, and they might have the story. Yeah, I mean, Rupees has been sailing for 41 years with several ships, so all sorts of stories have happened up here, like in any, you know, yeah, organization, in any, in any person's life, 